Okay guys, what I'm going to do first is show you how I'm taking these old crochets down. These are about a week old. They could have lasted much longer, but I'm trying to get as many protective styles in as I can before I make this big drastic change to my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out, but I'm going to go off camera, speed it up, and I'm going to just show how I cut them out, pull them out. Then I'm going to rebraid my hair and get started with the new crochets. So to take these crochets out, the process is pretty easy. You just pull the hair out straight and cut the hair as close to your braids as possible. You want to make sure you're not cutting the braids, but you don't want to leave the uncut pieces too long because it will make it harder to pull them out. After you cut all the pieces, you want to pull the remaining hair out from underneath the braids. The more times you loop the hair around when you install it the longer it's going to take you to pull these pieces out. Now I'm just going to uninstall and refresh these braids in the back. Okay, now it's time to get started. I have my top section and then I have my back section with the braids as you can see. And then I have two sections on the side. I decided I wanted to do two of the long braids. So I'm just sectioning that off, putting some cream and edge control on it. And then I'm just gonna do a standard braid. Originally, I had half up, half down crochets, as you saw earlier in the video. But for this crochet, I decided to do two buns up at the top. So I'm splitting that section down the middle, then sprayed it with some rose water, added some moisturizing cream and some gel, brushed everything down to get it nice and slicked down, and then secured it with a rubber band and made a little bun. Now we're ready to add the crochet hair. You wanna put the hook in facing down, twist the hair in the middle so that it gets smaller, put it on the hook, pull the hook underneath the braid, and then pull both strands through the loop. Because this hair is so tightly curled, you don't have to knot it or pull it through the loop more than once. Then you wanna just continue to put the hair in evenly spaced out throughout your head. 
When doing crochets, you wanna spread the hair apart more at the bottom and more closely together at the top. That way you avoid adding too much hair. Now that I'm at the front section, I want to do the invisible knot method. It'll zoom in in a second. So all you do differently for the invisible knot method is only pull one strand of hair through the loop whenever you pull it through. So there you go. I have my crochet hook. I pulled it through. There's a loop back there. And as you can see, I'm only pulling one hair through and then I pull it tightly. What that is going to do is hide the knot that is created when you pull the hair through. Now it's time to add the buns at the top. What you're gonna do is get some braiding hair, put an elastic or a rubber band around the hair in a loop, and then put the loop around the base of your ponytail. Now, because I wanted to have a braided bun, I'm braiding down the hair, then I'll secure that with a rubber band and wrap that around my bun. After you finish wrapping the bun, you want to secure it in place with a bobby pin or a hairpin to ensure that it stays in place. So here's the final look and I absolutely love it. It turned out looking like a twist out and also just like a twist out as the days went on, it got bigger and fluffier and just like frizzy, but not the bad frizzy, like the good frizzy that you want from a twist out that just shows like all the volume and body. I'll post a video coming up here in just a few seconds that I got one of the girls at the salon to film for me. And as you will be able to see, it is 100% completely undetectable. I love how this turned out. I also did another crochet video with these still in to show the tips and tricks and advice that I have for them. So make sure you check that out as well. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like it and comment. Also comment what other videos you would like to see. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and turn on the notifications. Come back again and thanks for watching.